Hi, Assalamualaikum uh, Yes, I've not been on YouTube for a long time And uh, right now we're preparing to train We're training for Gunung Redang Ascent uh, next week uh, But in this video I will show you why By climbing a mountain You will remember Allah better Okay, yes So to begin with Once you see the start of the path You will start with saying Bismillah Okay, yes, alright, yes. okay, let's go Okay, I've just climbed a few of those steps and I'm already panting, okay? So, when I look, when I look in front, I see endless flight of steps. <sighs> One of the things that comes to my mind is, Astaghfirullah. Okay, yeah, you start to regret whatever bad things you did. I hope that by cleaning your sins, you will have the energy to climb higher and higher and you keep on climbing and the steps just look endless but in your mind you know you will get there you will get to the end so you tell yourself inshallah you will reach you will reach the end so while you are huffing and puffing panting through your way up the steps you tend to look around you. Ah, such a beautiful greenery. And of course, you tend to say, Subhanallah. And, and you reach to a clearing. There's no more steps. It's easy to climb now. So, in your heart, you say, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Where does the road go? I'm not sure. But I'm sure, inshallah, you will reach the summit. Yes. Perseverance. What's up to Inshallah. And of course, when you arrive to the peak of your climb or the hill, or the mountain, whatsoever, you will say Alhamdulillah. Alright, so there, simple video to just to show that uh, by doing a simple activity like mountain climbing or trekking, for example, uh, you would naturally be reminded of uh, Allah. Okay, that's uh, for us Muslims. I'm sure if you're from any other beliefs or religion, uh, you also have uh, probably have the same thought because it's something that is uh, innate or natural in us uh, to have that uh, sense of uh, asking for help for uh, from a higher being. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope in this video you would have uh, also been able to see how by. Uh, how a simple activity you can link it back to religion in in my case is um, Islam all right um, and hence why I I'm coining it the term Islamic outdoor education all right um, yeah so essentially it's about using um, the outdoors to learn more or to bring yourself closer to Allah so if this video has been useful for you in in some ways or another uh, Feel free to, to comment or give a like at, at, at the video itself. Um, I hope to shoot more videos that uh, touches about Islamic outdoor education. So if you have anything on your mind and you thought I could uh, shoot about, um, feel free to, to share your thoughts. I'll be more than happy to, to think of how I can uh, shoot these videos uh, again. Um, not asking much but hopefully uh, by us going outdoors, by going, by thinking or reflecting about the activities can actually bring you, can bring us closer to Allah. Okay, uh, ultimately life is not only about being in the classrooms but actually it's more than that and that is what the Quran has been trying to tell us. Um, we go to the Quran, we learn about it and in the Quran there are some ideas that tell us to go and explore. So go out there and uh, think about what those ideas uh, said and after you go out and hopefully those experiences will bring you again back closer to the Quran and remind you again about, about Allah so thank you so much for watching 
bye bye see you in my next video um, thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh